Hello guys, this is Sanskar and today I'm gonna show you how to change uh, background of a picture. Uh, I have here a photo of Daniel Radcliffe in a Harry Potter poster and here's an abstract background. So I'm gonna use both these pictures out here. So well, first you're gonna do is go to your favorite web browser and go to the your address bar which you're gonna type www.dipso.com which is d i p h s o dot com and then uh, you will reach the site where you'll find photo mix uh, f o t u m i x if I'm not wrong and you're gonna click on free download out there and as soon as you download that you'll go to your downloads folder and open that application here it is and I'm going to run uh, no questions asked installation just click the button uh, yes I do and thanks for all this the software you're going to use is photo mix 6.1.1 and now you want to click on the button which you see is called foreground background actually now you click on start a new empty project and click on background you're going to click on import open and you're going to get your picture which you're going to use as your background in the picture it is an abstract uh, background uh, in this which I'm going to use is here and yeah. you're going to click on the foreground button and I'm going to click on import and get the picture which you're going to use or as your foreground um, I'm going to use a picture of uh, Daniel Radcliffe which I showed you already uh, yeah there's a lot of Phoenix poster and now I'm going to use a tool called eraser uh, you're going to see yeah here's an eraser and you can increase or decrease the brush size according to your convenience and you can also change the color uh, for you just have to leave that space in which Daniel Radcliffe's body is out there and except that I'm gonna select all of it so that it disappears so it'll take a bit of time you can zoom in also with the bar below the picture you can see uh, if you can't I just wanna show you it's just below here yeah, here and you just zoom in and zoom out the picture you just for accuracy this zoom button has been provided and you can change the color also so that you see there's no mistakes in the f uh, eraser erasing part you've done uh, what I feel is now is more than enough if you're not a professional graphic editor now and click on composition and you're gonna find something like this now. Now we will resize it with bottom right uh, here, bottom right. Let's stretch it, and you can just get. It. Yeah. Now, after we've done that, you're gonna click on finish. If you're going to use touch up, you can use it, but I'm not going to discuss it. Now, in the finish, you can use a frame, a digital frame. You can choose a frame color also below that. I mean, I'm not going to choose any frame, and I'm going to simply save the file onto the desktop. And as I do that, this finishes up the, this tutorial. Thanks for watching.